Hello YouTube, I'm Yusuf Truth and this is my apartment tour. An ocean, a cave, a dream that no one could save, a shelter, a whole act, a light that died with the night. You and I, we got our differences. When first stepping into this place, it was something way bigger than what I expected. Way bigger than my last apartment, so as soon as I stepped in, my ideas just exploded. This apartment features ceilings of 9 feet in height, and we wanted to preserve the openness of this living room while still being able to have the dinner parties and get-togethers that we host for our friends and our family. So color matching our furniture with the walls and floors and providing multiple seating areas did just that. When deciding what TV size to get, we chose the 65 inch from Vizio because it comes with a Dolby Vision display, which is so cool and uh, is perfect to showcase all of the great colors. Everybody needs a nice bookshelf somewhere in their house. It gives your guests an inside scoop of your personality and mind without you even saying a single word. This being the last piece of furniture that we added to our apartment, it's still a bit bare, but it ties the whole room together. In the corner over here, we have my old but not so old mattress that we chopped up to create this lounging area to read books or to take snaps on. I think it looks unique and I think it's not something you really see in anyone else's apartment. Look at the kitchen cabinets. The kitchen cabinets have this deep shade of blue that pairs so nicely with the teal tiles on the wall. My roommate Junaid and I come from very cultured backgrounds, so the kitchen is a place where we spend a lot of our time. It's rare that we go out and eat since we both enjoy bringing our cultures to life with the food we make. There's always new things that he's teaching me about his family's cookbook in comparison to mine, so we probably have every spice under the sun. We have these beautiful overhead lamps that hang over this granite counter, so we place bar stools by them to help portion off our kitchen and our living room. Now, this is a bit biased, but one of my favorite rooms in this apartment is my humble abode. Whenever I walk into this space, it's refreshing to see all the green and earthy tones in comparison to the rest of the apartment. It is absolutely necessary for my room to be a welcoming place, a place that encourages creativity. And so these paintings on my wall were painted and gifted to me by my lovely sister. She knows just how much I love green, so these pieces hold a very, very special place in my heart, and they go everywhere that I go. I'm primarily a video creator, so I spend more time on my desk than in bed. So this time, I really invested in my desk setup. I genuinely love this monitor for the sake of it being ergonomic. I can pull it, I can twist it in any angle or any shape that I need to maintain good posture. I'm a big believer that your environment is extremely important for your mental health. And well, your room is a huge part of that. It's what reflects a calm and stable mind. And I'm really happy with the way mine turned out. Now, although Junaid and I are childhood friends and now roommates, our aesthetics are very different. Me loving brighter tones and nature vibes, he is literally the exact opposite. His room being filled with engineering work, so the dark shadows, the black accents, and the deep blues surround his room and his lifestyle. His desk setup and wall art, they just, it says it all, it screams productivity and efficiency. but. Both rooms being minimal in their own ways, I think both of us maintain the intentionality and uniqueness to our apartment. In this home, it truly is the small things that help bring this place alive. 
there's still a lot of things that I want to do with this space, but for now, for now this will this will do. It's the shared efforts of the two aesthetics mashing into one that provided the perfect sanctuary. A place for peace, comfort, productivity, and above all else, food. <laughs>